Hey everyone, it's an aging zombie here bringing you some more Modern Warfare Zombies content. And in today's video, we're going to go over how to unlock the new Dark Aether from Season 2 Reloaded. So I've gone in and I did complete the story mission. So uh, I have been into the Dark Aether through that portal. Now we're going to unlock the portal that will allow us to access the Tier 4 and Tier 5 uh, using the Sigils and the Elder Sigils. And of course, this one uh, as well, just like the previous season's uh, portal, you're able to unlock the new schematics. And those new schematics are the Bloodburner key. So you can now just spawn in and call in a bike, the Mags of Holding, and the VR11 case. And for this run, I'm also going to be trying out the new Subverter. Give it, a, give it a try. I unlocked it. So let's see how well it does. So let's get into it. Okay, so uh, for this, all the items are in the new portal. So you have to go in through the story mission portal and all the new items are in there. So unlike last season, they were on Urzikstan here. This time they are all in the portal. So we'll have to go back in there. So the first thing I'm going to do is kind of gear up to go into there. So I want to buy, you know, Kazis again. It wasn't super hard, but having the Kazis are just really nice. So we'll go gear up and then make our win there to get the remaining items. Okay, three self revives in total. Got what, six holy grenades, six of the Kazis. Sentry, yeah, that should be good. Good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so now that we're in here, we need to get the remaining items. So we have the drum. There's three more items that we need to get. And again, it's similar to last season where you get purple of the remaining three, and then you have to turn them into the gold version. So the first one is going to be on this boat. So as soon as you enter, you just kind of come back here. Uh, and you kind of parkour up to the boat. At least that's the only way I know of doing it. Um, and it's going to be the kind of like totems that we saw in the first season's Dark Aether, where it's like a totem that's there, and you have to kill zombies in that totem area to have the souls go up. But each one is a little different as far as actually what you need to do. So this first one, we need to... Oh, am I going to make it? Oh, yeah. Um, essentially, just punch all the zombies. Melee them. And that will make the souls go in. And I think you can tell by what the symbol is. So, like, this symbol, it's a fist, right? So, it's saying you got you to gotta punch these zombies. So, let's activate this. And then it gives you insta kill and again you have to do it inside of the circle let's just actually use the fists though not a lot of spawning come on oh okay <laughs> it didn't need a lot okay so we get our first item gloves tattered mma gloves so first item done the second one, I think if I remember correctly, it's over here. So let's head over there. Yeah, here it is. So I was right. Uh, well, sort of. Okay, so this area here. Ooh. I'm going to clear this out really quick. I forget what you're supposed to do for this one. I think this is, yeah, headshots. Let me kind of clear this up, hopefully. Oh, that's my guy. Okay, so yeah, you can see the little headshot icon. So we'll activate this. So again, inside the circle only. I want to make 
sure they're in the circle. Got it. Um, let's see. Now I'm going to run into a problem, though. <laughs> I don't have any more space. I didn't even think about that. Ooh. All right, whatever. Gas mask is okay. I don't fully need that. Okay, so the perforated target. All right, so the next one is out in here, which I don't remember exactly where, so we're just going to have to run over there and then hope for the best. Okay. I do know what I'm looking for is essentially a circle of these crystals. Now, the crazy thing is they put a really good fog effect in here. So... Kind of makes it dark and eerie and ominous. Um, okay. I want to say it's closer to this side. I really should have brought gold armor plates. Probably would have been a little better to have. Ooh, here it is. Yay. Okay, so this one is a little tricky so it's a mirror which doesn't really tell you what you need to do but what's gonna happen is uh once you activate it once i activate it a ring of fire will pop up which means i need to use the fire ammo mod but i don't have the fire ammo mod but the the sigil thing here in the center will give you the mods that you need for this one. Oh boy that was a little close so I'm going to drop this down to kind of clear up so I can call this. Okay, so see it's fire. So I'm going to throw one of these and to give myself some... So the first thing I need is napalm burst. Perfect. Okay. And then after some kills, the ground will change into another. So see, the ground is now changed. So now I want to say it is fr frost, and I guess it's probably good. Which one of these sides should give it to you? Choir brain rot, I think that said. Um, come on. downside is there's so much stuff around here that can't really interact with this. Fire dead wire, brain rot, uh, what is this one? Is this not one? Can I not interact with it? Ah, come on. Oh, wait, when I turn, okay, I just gotta turn around. Require cryo freeze. Uh, where? There we go. Okay, so it's changed again. So now I gotta do, and I'm gonna have to clear up a space anyway. So now I need dead wire. What should be one of these last ones here? Acquire dead wire. Use. Perfect. Oh, that's right. It needs to be in the circle. Okay, it's changed. So now we gotta do the last one. Our brain rot. Oh boy. Nice. Okay. So I got the last one. So that's one, and then two, three. Oh, 
Oh yeah, one, two, three, four. So the pristine mirror, target, gloves, and drum. Now you do then have to still finish the story mission to be able to exfil. Although I wonder if uh, I wonder if the normal exfil, because you know once you uh, unlock the Dark Aether portal, you come in here. Obviously, there's no story mission to complete. There's a regular portal. I wonder if that's open, but I'm just gonna finish the story mission. Uh, hopefully, maybe it'll give me one of the new things, like a mags of holding or something like that. But we'll see. So I'm just gonna go finish the mission now. Oh, and I did forget to mention that um, that last one I did for the pristine or for the mirror. Yeah, the pristine mirror. I have heard that you can bring in all the ammo mods. You do not have to rely on the ammo mods that spawn on that pillar thing. So just FYI, in case you're like, oh, I should just bring in, yeah, go ahead. Okay, so I got all the items. So I got the gloves, the mirror, or the target and the mirror. Now I do need to go in and upgrade these to their golden equivalent, like the drum. So we'll go back in and these now to get to the golden equivalent, you just need to do an Urizic stand. You don't need to do inside the dark aether. So let's jump into it. Okay, so the locations that you have to go is the boxing gym for the gloves, which is here, I believe, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that's the tennis court. Then for the target, it's the firing range that's down over here. And then for the pristine mirror, it is the cemetery that is here. I believe it's next to this building. It's like right here. So since we're closest to the gym, we'll go over there first. And let's uh, soup up everything as much as I can. Okay, so here's the boxing gym. So we come in here. And if you go in the ring, you should get a prompt. Yep, offer unattuned relic. And then you have to come over to these pump chain bags. Punch away. I think you can also use your uh, gun. And then this guy spawns with the fists, and you get him into the ring, and apparently you gotta fight him. I gotta put him on. There we go. There we go. Oh. oh, someone else is here doing it. <laughs> okay, so here's the firing range area. So again, we're here in the map, and then you come up to this spot. And it's one of these that you go into, and I think it says to... Or is it maybe up here? Aha! That's right, you go up to this target. Offer your unattuned relic. And now there's going to be these targets that spawn that you have to shoot at until they turn red so turn red like that oh there's one right in front of me I know there's one over here loot up might as well I think there's just one more and it is kind of in a spot you I wouldn't have thought to look but on the back side of these shipping containers should be the last one and there we go so now I've got the gloves gold and the target gold so now it's just the mirror and that's over at the graveyard so let's head over there okay so we're at the graveyard 
And yeah, so it's over at this building here. This stone here. Offer unattuned relic. And then similar to in the Dark Aether for that um, relic or whatever, you got to use certain ammo mods. So one of them is the fire, the one that has fire on them. And there should be two that spawn. Where are you? There you are. Oh, I thought it was two that spawn. All right, just one for me. Okay, so I now have all the items in their gold variant. So before I go open the portal, I am going to just farm some tier three contracts to get up essence to get um, Kazzy's. So I'll do that before I go in and actually open up the portal. All right, so we are here. We can start placing the items. Now for the eagle-eyed viewer, you might notice all of a sudden I have gold armor plates. Uh, so yeah, that match where I got everything gold, um, I came to these pillars and I placed the items, all four of them in the correct spot. And the rift didn't come. Nothing happened. Uh, so I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't get it to spawn in. Time ran out in the match. I had to grab the items and exfil. And for those that maybe it happens to as well, when I did open these back up with the item on it, it took me a few tries of open, close, open, close before the item showed up that I could retrieve it. So if it happens to you and you have to re-grab them, just give it a couple tries. So, attempt number two. Let's see if this works. Now, the nice thing about these pedestals is at least the image matches up with the item. Because last season's, it was, you know, like, this is the brain rot, and you need to put the, you know, I forget what the items were, but it didn't really seem to intuitively match up like these. So you got the first three on that side, and then uh, last one's kind of over here. Seems like a odd placement. So you know you got the three kind of over here, and then the last one back over here behind this little hut. Hey, this time it worked. Nice, it's not a mega. He's a little powerful. Oh my goodness, I gotta run, but I'm <laughs> in need. Got him. Whew. and then the guaranteed sigil and and you know the interesting thing is i feel like so last time i did have a sigil on me when i went to place the items to me maybe it was that's the reason that caused it to not come in but who knows all right finally have it unlocked um and i did get kind of prepped so i did go buy some kazis i've got some self revives i think i'm just gonna go in so let's get uh elder Spend sigil. So let's head in here. Okay, so now that we're in here, so we got to get the three contracts just like before. Now, at least to my knowledge, I haven't seen yet um, in other people's videos. You know, before, oh, are those them? I was going to say, normally you see the contracts and they fly away. Wonder if you actually have to trigger that first. Alright, so I know one spawns in this warehouse here. So in this first warehouse, so essentially you just turn around right away. And I'm a little worried about time. 
I mean, I know this is the regular sigil, not the elder, but I'm a little worried about time just because it's a bigger map than the first Dark Aether. I've already got a horde of stuff on me. I don't know, like, the quick routes yet. Um... Oh, boy. That's an exit. Yep. All right. Okay. Now, this is a little more challenging. Ooh, I hear the mega. Okay, let's see if I can remember where I throw this. Back, let me just do this. Oh. I still see the smoke. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, I gotta get into this thing quick. Where are you? Oh boy, okay. Oh, I thought I said field upgrade ready. I was excited. Okay, I'm gonna use one now. About to run out of ammo. Oh boy. Ammo, ammo, ammo. Thank you. Ooh, got it. Nice. Need that. Don't need that. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Anything else of importance? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. So now, the next one... I want to say is here Oop, as I just <laughs> run into a wall I want to say it's like that building let's make our way over there how many cells do I have two all right cool oh I was a little off this building so one to the next next to it I do know this building fairly well the staircase is right here I don't know why in DMZ I ended up here a lot for some reason. Okay, and I think... There it is. So the last one's going to be the extractor again. So I'm really trying to save the rest of my Casimirs for that. But I have a feeling I'm going to need to use one in this Outlast. <laughs> maybe two. And maybe then I just risk the... Uh, a last contractor hope that I run into an enemy that drops a Casimir. Oh, 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 no, no, no. <laughs> uh... really quick. Oh, there's two of you. There's two of you. Oh, boy. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna use one. Oh, maybe. Throw it. Get out of here. <laughs> I don't know why, uh, that one's not getting stuck on it. Oh no, it's stuck again. Wow, this one's tough. 84 though. Let's just throw this. Oh 
my goodness. Nice. Got it. Oh, nuke. Yes, I need that. <laughs> okay, where's the reward rift? Uh, I think I need that. Got that already, but might as well take it out with me. Okay, last one. Last contract is top of the mall. Very top of the mall. Oh, left side. That's probably how you do it. Okay. Should have just gone left first. Yep, I should have just gone left first. All right, so yeah, don't go to the right. Okie dokie. Last contract. Zero self revives left. So let's see. Can he do it? Okay. It's fine if the mangler's hitting me a little bit. Oh boy. No, 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 no. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, darn. Bummer. <laughs> All right, well, there we have it. The new Dark Ether is unlocked. Unlock process was fairly similar to that of season one. So, you know, getting these items and then doing various tasks to turn them into the gold variant and then going and placing them on the pedestals, a boss spawns and you kill it to get into it. So, you know, same kind of stuff as season one. The do thing I do like though, is that the items you had to go back into the portal to get, or if you knew ahead of time, you could just do it in one run. Um, but I like that it uses the story mission portal as opposed to like, oh, I got the story mission done. I'm done in there. Now let me go back to Urzikstan and find these things. I do actually kind of like that you had to first go back in there to get them uh, and come out. And it's a bummer that I didn't make my first run. I really think that's just lack of preparation. I really should have with the remaining 20 minutes in the match. I should have gone and gotten some more self revives, some more Kazis. Really should have done that. That's my bad. Um, I'm pretty sure I could have survived it. I didn't think it was necessarily ter super hard. I do think the Outlast in, is a little more challenging in that area. And the Mega Bomb, if I didn't have that Juggernaut, would have been a lot more challenging. I probably would have gone down there, um, like completely gone down, had to leave. But, you know, you live and you learn. I'll get prepped, get, a, get more stuff, and I'll go back in and successfully do that. And then I will also make a run at the Elder Sigil, so... Hope, I never, hope everyone enjoyed the video. Till the next one, peace.